But uh, you know, the 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 band was kind of uh, you know it was pretty popular, um, and we were often asked to do things uh, that it just wasn't practical for us all to do it. You know, the, they were opening a school and put the Buffy band make an appearance, you know, this kind of thing. So we would often say, well, we can't, the, the whole band can't do it, but maybe Dawn and Matt could go, or Dawn and Matt and Trina, or, or Kevin and Paddy and Michal, or various combinations. And then um, Michal and I ended up sharing a house together, and it became quite convenient for the two of us to do these kind of extraneous things because uh, we didn't have to pick each other up, but, you know, on the other side of the city we were in the same house so we could just leave together and come back together and it worked out fine. And then it became, um, it started to happen more and more often. And we, st we, were, we started to be asked to do whole evenings work. Performance, not just show up and play for 20 minutes, you know. Um, which meant we had to we had to work up some material. So that's when Michal and I started working together and kind of examining each other's play and then trying to complement each other's play. Um, and uh, like Dahi said. Um, there wasn't much to uh, to reference from from beforehand, so we kind of we kind of made it up on the fly just by trial and error. And uh, I I I don't uh, I never played guitar, so I don't have the guitar language. But I'd say I'd say things to Don uh, to Michal like. Um, um, you know, what's that chord there? You know, that one, that one, no, that one, that one. <laughs> one fret up, where you lose your lip, oh yeah, that one, yeah, okay, now what's that chord? And he'd say, well, that, well you know, that's a B minor, I'd say, well, why don't you try that chord at the start of the tune? Not in the second half, but right at the start. Because um, I'd, I'd hear this sound and I'd think, oh, you know, that, that's the way I imagine this tune starting. So then he'd put it there and we'd kind of tie around with that and if it worked well then uh, we'd keep it and kind of build the tune up. And then when we get to the next tune, it was, uh, you know, we'd talk about uh, uh, how we imagine the tune, you know, like uh, I always imagine this as a kind of a gentle tune, not an aggressive strong, hearty tune, it's a kind of a pensive tune. So he'd start to play some chords that he would think would match that kind of mood. And then uh, I'd either agree or disagree or throw in a few suggestions and and we just built it up that way, you know. And then we'd have these sets of tunes. Um, and when it came to the songs, he would usually uh, tell me what to play. And you know, he'd, he'd have a kind of a, uh, an idea in his head and he'd kind of sing me the line and I'd learn it from his singing and then I'd play it, he'd sing the melody and I'd play along with it and again, trial and error, he, you know, he'd, he'd say, well it works fine for the first verse but when, when you get to the second verse we, sh we should try something different, you know, for, it's too boring or it's second verse might have a different kind of uh, energy in it because of the story of the song perhaps. So, so he'd, he'd try and invent another line. So the, those harmony parts that you hear in the in the songs are mostly from Michal, probably 90% from Michal. Um, and then the, for the sets of tunes I'd, uh, I'd give him a lot more suggestion. That was kind of more my territory. Instrumental. 